Honestly, I'm not really sure. I'm sorry it's been such a long stretch. It's because <laughs> that seems weird to say sorry for this. Uh, our newborn son has been in the ICU for the past eight days. And so obviously I've been prioritizing that, but knock on wood, things have been looking up. So the rest of this video was filmed the day before all this happened. Uh, but things are looking better, so we're gonna kick start these up. But if I drop them again, then um, things took a slightly worse turn. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't want to make this about, I'll, I'll talk about this in the next video a little bit, because I don't want to make it all about this, but there's a lot that I've like learned and experienced from it, and we'll go into where we're going forward, but there's some exciting things, so enjoy the video. Good morning, my Scottish lamb covered in mint sauce. Oh, okay. Before I answer last night's question, I am stewing. I... I just don't know what I'm doing. I do, but I don't. I could, I could keep, uh, well, here's, how do I communicate this? Articulate this. I'd say, I don't know if I'd say, I, I have a formula for viral TikToks to make a TikTok viral. Like the storytelling formula, I have that. But what has been working with that, and what I didn't realize is a place I got to, is that the hooks have been very good. And then there's so much drama and tension throughout the whole video that someone just can't leave. But when I watch them back now, I think, oh gosh, that doesn't, that doesn't sound like me. And so, I know that that style does really well, gets lots of views. But it's not, you know, in some ways it is fulfilling, other ways it's not fulfilling. And it brings me to this place of questioning, is that really the type of content I want to make? And I'll tell you why this is so confuddling to me. I have something that works, but I don't love it. It also doesn't support longevity, right? So every video, while I can make a series and people may be interested in the series, they're not interested in me. They don't really care about me and they're happy to watch the video and scroll on to the next one. Which is, again, sounds egotistical. Also, I don't know what it is, but you get past a certain age in your life and sitting like this is suddenly comfortable. I don't know what happens with everything here in a man, but it, it's comfortable. Yeah, so every video is essentially independent of the other and no one's following because they, they're here for you, which means which my interpretation of that is I haven't built up enough in that video to make the person really resonate with me, Oliver. Like it, it all seems to come to this, oh, you just made a video that did really well and kept people entertained. And this all comes from a place of, uh, I, I've been doing this same style on TikTok for maybe a year, year and a half now, and there's nothing really to show from it. I can still post a video and no one seems to really care that I posted a video, which, don't get me wrong, is not like a, oh, I want people to love me, is I'm looking at this from a business perspective of, I haven't been providing the right service. And so then I'm, I'm rattling my brain about how do I do things differently? And I've been trying to make a more chilled out style of video that's more relaxed, 
less in your face, less like, I need your attention, less of that. It's more of, I did this thing, and here's my like kind of recount of the story, but it's also including this, the, the viral formula. It's basically just a storytelling formula which I've adapted for TikTok. But the problem is that I hate the hooks on my videos, on, the, on those previous videos. Number one, it's your typical content creator style of hook. And number two, that's not the way that I would tell someone what I'm doing, right? So you think, Oliver, just change the hook to something you're happy with. But how do you make that work? How do you, how do you make a hook that works? without it being an in-your-face type of hook. Because I, I think, what is the whole goal of TikTok? We've talked about this before, that as a platform, uh, as a, not necessarily just a platform, but as a, the way people consume short form content, it's, you're constantly looking for the next best thing to watch. And when you watch a video, you don't think, oh, who was the, well, at the moment, I haven't gotten people to think that, and you don't find it very common across TikTok that someone watches a video and thinks, oh my gosh, like, who is this person? Like, I want to watch more of them doing these things. You only have the few standout people, like, I don't know, uh, Alex Earl, Bevo, I don't know, two turn Tony ugh, and the dude who does eating the food. I can't remember his name now. Super nice guy. So my goal is my goal on TikTok to get people to really resonate with who I am and to build my community there, which I think is incredibly tough to do. Or is my goal just to get views, to make the best video possible, to get the most amount of eyes possible? Or is it a hybrid? Because I'm trying to, I'm in this place where I'm trying to define what that hybrid is. And I know it can work. Because if I look at my I'd say the first video I really tried this on was the nose waxing video, which <laughs> is almost at two and a half million views That's my wife, with a pretty good, I mean, I'm bringing up the retention graph now to show you. Just look at that for a retention graph. That is amazing. At three seconds, we've got nearly 80% of people watching. And then the, the curve, I, I honestly, I didn't realize it was this good. Just look how flat that line is across there. Which means that people were interested in the story the whole way through. They weren't disappointed. My nose hairs, and then that's me about to huff smelling salts to try and win back my man card. Why don't we... See, what I like about this hook is like, it's still kind of in your face, but it also shares a little bit about me in terms of having a wife and then you see the kid. But then the hand in lotion video, which I think I used the same hook as the last time. Same hook as the last time, and the last one did five million or so views. 
it's like this should have done really well too. So at three seconds, we're still up at 75%. And then it's not too bad of a drop off aside from the end. Oh my. Oh, you now have insights in search. So you can see people that search it. Interesting. I'm just trying to figure out, Oliver, is, what's your goal? Is my goal to build community there? It is, it's, a, it's both, isn't it? I am trying to build a community because the more that people care about, it's just some weird psycho stuff. The more people care about who I am and they're invested in me and the way that I do things, the more likely they are to, the more valuable, like let's say brand partnerships come. And I mean, we've established that my style of brand partnership isn't to throw something down your throat and try and get you to purchase. It's just showing the product in use. So what do we do? What do I do? Let's look at this. Um, what's the best way to do this? Should I share my screen and we can go through the video? Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I'll get the video up, hold on. Okie dokie. I figured the best way to do this is actually just to record my screen as you see it here. Step through it and just try and break down some bits. Get at me where you bastard. All right. So let's look at the hook. So what do we have going on in the, let's, let's call it the hook. We have the wife, we have nose waxing, uh, smelling salts, and to win back man card. So we have a bit about life, a bit about the process, process, and then man card is the reason. Right, all in the first few seconds. Whoops. My nose hairs, and then that's me about to huff smelling salts to try and win back my man card while I was shaving my plum juice. Juicy cheeks with my cardboard razor. I did also notice my. So, when the audience sees this, and I really want your input on this too, if you could, as I'm going through this, it'd be really helpful if you could, like, just maybe start writing a comment and adding in your thoughts too, as well. Can we stop at each section? What did you think? What was your interpretation of each second? And I'm not looking, like, please don't think you, you could have a wrong answer. I'm really interested to see how you, what is your thought on this section? Because my thought is very different. And obviously I've done this for a reason, so I, I have a very different viewpoint. Um, we've also, brought in me as the main character. And we've told the audience something about me that I don't have my man card. So the viewer knows that they're gonna see nose waxing, potentially smelling salts, and 
the reason he's doing nose waxing is because his man card, or he's trying to win back his man card. He's like, why, why are you trying to win back your man card? And how does the nose waxing go? And oh, your wife's gonna do it? Let's see, like people just like couples content. We then have the, um, kind of like the reason for the whole thing. Uh, which is outrageous nose heads. Just all the nose waxing shit. So like showing absolutely no fear. Did I say that I was previously? The, right, the reason it is like shaving, notice hairs, and I put some like drama in with that, like they're too long, they're outrageous. Order kit. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I don't know if this is the right way to do this. Just seeing what I get out of it, really. And then... Get out of my way. All right, so we start it. Put in nose. So we are, how far in? 15 seconds. So 15 seconds before, see this is the part where it gets quite difficult because the the hook, so and the, the visuals behind this prove that I'm doing everything. Is that, is that really the key? Let's watch the hook again. So you have my wife actively pulling the thing out my nose. Ask me about the huff smelling salt. And then I look to huff smelling salts. And I'm doing the smelling salts to win back my man card. I think the visuals are so are gonna be so important. Okay, let's go back to 15 seconds where I put it in my nose. So this is the point where people just don't drop off, the, stop dropping off the video, mostly. So that is the catch, isn't it? So I put it in my nose. But hurts. I think the wussy had me had risen straight back to the surface, so I put a test run on my leg hair. Right, I, I think the... The thing is that... What I'm seeing is everything that's happened so far I think people are just normally curious about. And waxing leg hair is a pretty normal thing, but I don't think many people know what that feels like. And... Because here's the thing. Typically, 
if I have it in my nose and I don't pull it out, that would be the fall off, right? Like what we saw in the snowboarding video of like I make the first jump and it ended up being trash, but you saw a massive drop off in people. That to me is no similar that, no different to giving it a quick tug on my nose and seeing that it actually hurts. So I decide to do something else, but something else is equally as interesting. The other thing going through my head is, is the hook. Does the hook have to show, have to not show, but have to directly link with the result? I'm just trying to think through different videos like this one. The hook tells you that you're going to pull something out your nose and you do end up getting that and you can tell that you are going to get that because someone isn't going to walk around with this thing in their nose so they know that that's going to happen at some point hmm that's interesting isn't it Viewer, <laughs> let's spell viewer with a double U, shall we? You uh, were knows it's going to happen. Knows it being hook is going to happen, which is, but then I think back to like the magnet fishing video. There's no promise of what's going to happen at the end, just that I went magnet fishing. And that whole video is curiosity about whether I'll find anything or not. Whereas this video, People don't know what the reaction's gonna be, but the, I feel like this is so, this is so tough for me to look at it because having built out the story, I know that I've added in a section to help people. Like I, I've said that I'm a wussy and I've, I've then programmed people to realize that I'm a wuss and when this does come out, it's probably gonna be a wussy reaction. Which was all obviously intentional, but I don't know if the viewer really picked up on that or not. I would assume so. What if the hook? So the point of no return in my videos, which in this case is putting it in my nose, which is part of the process because it's shown at the beginning that I have it in my nose and she's pulling it out. But the point of no return really has to put me in a position where I cannot quit. Now this is, this is a video example where that sounds very easy to say because once the, the wax is in your nose, there's no possible, oh, my memory card's dying, one sec. Sorry, there's no possible reason that I can get it out so they know they're gonna get the end of the video. 
It's like your... Does the hook have to promise that they get something? Hook should promise. <clears throat> I'm just thinking about like the snowboarding video, for example. The if I try if I try and break down what my issues were, the promise was that I would make a big air jump, but I didn't show any kind of big air jump in the intro. Let's find an, wait, let's, I guess let's finish this one. Now here's the interesting part. So the, the ripping it off my leg hurts. So I decide to shave it off. But then because I have my the trimmer in hand, I know it has an air nose hair trimmer, I decide to use that on my nostril for comparison. And then you come to the point that you're going to pull it out. By this point, you have the delivery and you're likely not to see a fall off. and then a really quick end to the video, which I think is what you need. <sighs> it's like once you have people hooked and into the story, what do they care about in this story? Do they care about the fact that I'm... Oh, wait. Of course they don't care about the fact that I'm a wussy, but they are probably interested in how that impacts what's, what they know is going to happen. So it's going to, like they know the result is it going to be pulled out the nose, but now knowing that I'm a wussy, <laughs> which I guess I am, <laughs> I don't know why I'm putting quotes, now that they know I'm a wussy, the ending is going to be that much more worth it. So the catch, so the catch or flaw has to impact result. You know, in every video where there's some sort of pain involved, I guess I have talked about, not everyone, but many of them, like the Needle Mat series, I've talked about being a wuss. 
which has likely driven people to the end. I, why, is, why is this video so important to me? It's because it's a much more chilled way of doing it, and I think it was one of the first videos I did without sound effects. And I don't want to do sound effects anymore because I think while they add a lot to it, I think it gives a whole different world, sorry, a whole different viewpoint of it's been edited. It takes away from this idea that I'm just a guy who's done a cool thing or done an interesting thing, which is, a, which is what I want it to be. Yeah, because for the, the, I want the viewer to have, I want their experience to be that some guy did a thing and is now telling the story about it versus this guy did a thing just to make a video to get my attention. Which like ultimately like is my goal but it's simultaneously not my goal. Right, the goal is that it ends up in someone's lap and they can enjoy the content. Versus me doing everything I can to get it in front of them and to make them stay. I think this is quite interesting. Hook should promise and show. Let's find another video that's done very well. Look, I mean, the like to view ratio on this is pretty bad. It's, like, uh, it's about 4%, not ideal. Okay, how do they start? So the hook is day one. Oh my God, day die one. Day one. Sauna challenge. So there's no reason for doing it. Like the um, the nose hair one, the reason was because I wanted to win back my man card. But then again, like the snowboarding video that I reposted yesterday with a new intro and a couple of other changes, well, actually quite a lot of changes, <laughs> almost changed the whole storyline. Um, that intro included the reason why, which was, this is how a dad impresses his son on a snow day. What if it was, this is how a dad does a snow day to impress his son? I don't know. So day one, time, Um, 
sauna challenge process. Like, why would this do well? God damn. Cheapest one on Amazon. There is no reason. Darn it, dude. I don't know. The I guess we just we go straight into it, don't we? So buy cheapest. Reason. Building. There's no promise. There's no like, oh, I want to see if this guy does this because I want to see if he acts. Is there? It's all. The only reason people would be watching that video is because they're like, oh my gosh, that's an at-home sauna? Or yeah, I've seen these before. I wonder how they work or what happens. So how would I change this hook? Should we try, wait, let's go a bit further. What time did I get in? About the same time, about 15 seconds. All right, let's stop. What is my intro? This is, this is day one of my five day at home. This is, this is day one. So we have me getting in, and then we have me panting. So good hook clips. This is day two of my five day at homes. Interestingly, same, similar, very similar hook clip on the next video. This is day three of my five day at homes. I can't believe this one didn't do well. What does the hook promise? The nose waxing one. Let's work through this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's just get the intro. We'll just start over here. All right. All right, Oliver. Oh, hook. is what what are we going to promise so let's think about what goes into the hook we have 
the sauna, five days. So we have the thing, we have time, uh, let's have a personal thing. Um, say pale white boy and what's the promise so I think the prom like any of those can be both visual or auditory audible I don't know <laughs> what would be the promise of going into a sauna You could do, let's do some options. The, the doing it for five days could also be a promise, but that doesn't promise what's gonna happen in that video. Uh, being, So, pale, I've just crossed my L. Pale British guy, and sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to link these two. So, in the nose waxing video, the promise is that it has to come out the nose. And we, we know that that's the promise because there's no other way. Once it's in, nothing else can happen. There's no other ending. For a um, sauna video, I might, honestly, I might redo this whole series, this whole sauna series. One, because I think I can make it do a lot better. And two, because I want to practice this. So the sauna is the thing. We have a time amount. I'm a pale British guy. And what is the promise? The promise is that, I don't know, let's say the catch or the floor. Uh, struggle with heat. So if you watch someone go into a sauna, what is the promise of what could happen? What could I promise? That someone would have to wait until the end of the experience for. Man, that's a difficult one, isn't it? You're probably like screaming, at, hopefully you're screaming at the computer, you're like, do this, do this. And I'm like, I don't know. And I'll read your comment the next day and be like, Oliver, you're so stupid. How did you not see that? It would be really cool to at some point get ahead of myself enough that we can like plan this out a week in advance and you guys can suggest your thoughts for it. And we build out a whole story based on your input. 
Do you imagine how good that would be? Where it's like all of us coming together to make something instead of just me? Dude, that would be so good. Okay. Um, if someone watches someone go into a sauna, what would you want to wait for to see when they come out? That they really struggle with the heat. The basement is freezing. But I don't have much of a reaction when I come out to the basement being freezing, do I? This is day one of my five day. Probably the most stupid idea I've ever had. All right, that was hell. I think tomorrow, I try taking in my ice water and see if it's more bearable. That is the face. Like in this case, the freezing basement. So you're really looking forward to how someone who struggles with the heat gets really hot and then comes out into a freezing basement. Is that a promise? Should we, let's try chat Jupiter. Oh, I guess I have it on my phone. Let's say if someone, oh, okay, uh, if a pale Englishman who isn't used to warm temperatures, tries an at-home sauna. You wanna just see my screen. If a pale Englishman who isn't used to warm, sauna, warm temperatures tried an at-home sauna, in a freezing basement. What kind of things would you look forward to seeing slash hearing about when they get out? I don't know, let's see. So their initial reaction, reaction to the sudden warmth, how it contrasts with the freezing environment, how much sweat, whether they found it refreshing or uncomfortable. So I guess what we're doing is opening up a second loop. The first loop being, I'm going into a sauna, what happens at the end. But a second loop helps the viewer become more involved. It adds like a second dimension to it, doesn't it? Let me add in. Yeah, that the promise I guess what we're actually doing at the moment is building out a hook template 
That's what we're doing, isn't it? I'm going to do it my way because I want my way. I do. I really do want to be different to everyone else. And I know that lots of parts that I do are the same as other people in this like similar type of niche where it's crazy hook while you do a crazy thing and then telling the story. I feel like my storytelling is very different to what other people are doing, but I want to make it different again. I don't want people to look at my videos and be like, oh, you could put Oliver in that niche of doing something crazy and then like storytelling or sharing the experience. Okay, the promise is, has to come out. And the promise here is that have to come out. Holy, into the freezing basement. And then we make this worse by where does, where's the wussy bit? That's my wife waxing my nose hairs, and then that's me about to huff smelling salts no. to try and win back my man card. While I was shaved... Um, there's no reason here, is there? So let's figure out a reason. Being my plump, juicy cheeks with my cutthroat razor, I did also notice my outrageous nose hairs. Just all of the nose waxing kit, so like showing absolutely no fear, I stuffed the wax like deep into my cave of a nostril. It dried far quicker than I expected, and after giving it a quick tug, immediate regret set in. I think the wussy in me had risen straight back. So the wussy part is actually like 20 seconds in. Like the wussy. 20 seconds into the video. What, so my flaw is that I, is it that I struggle with heat or is that I hate cold? So, How do I highlight this? Um, step in, heat hit me, and I'm not going to use the word concerned, but concerned to get out. I know that doesn't, gra grammatically that doesn't make, it, I don't even know if that is the right word. Grammatically that doesn't make any sense. Um, and the reason, why am I doing it? Like for the nose waxing, it was to win back my man card. No, what kind of was, but it was also because I have really bad hairs, but I could have just shaved my nose hairs instead of waxing. How is it? I have all this space and I don't have enough space still to keep going. <laughs> um, I don't know if I do this on the health benefits route or if I choose to do this on the, uh, like what if I did it because I wanted some warmth? I 
I know this is really slow, I'm sorry. Just trying to think through and figure this out, obviously. I struggle with heat. The reason is to get warm. No, that's not strong enough, is it? Can't afford, I'm just spitballing here. Can't afford vacay to get warm. Like on the idea here that I want to have a holiday to somewhere warm, a vacation to somewhere warm, but this is the best I can do. Into freezing basement. I think this is what I've been doing. I wouldn't say wrong, but I could be focusing on is, I've always thought this catch, so the way this works is you want to do something like you have a reason for doing something, which is like the setup want. So it could be like wanting to go somewhere warm, but I don't have the money for vacation, so I get an at-home sauna. I then step into it, but there's a problem with stepping into it. There's a problem with me going about this thing that I've told the person I'm going to do, which is a direct correlation with the floor. Okay, let me take a picture. Yeah, let me take a picture and then we'll clear. We'll start writing this, yep. I'm not sure how at the moment. You see lots of people who offer viral hooks and they say to make it, instead of I, they make it say you so that the viewer feels like they have some part of it or like it's attributable to them. But I, that's a question I'm asking myself because I believe that to create, I don't know, uh, if, remember we talked earlier about what the real point is of these videos. What are we trying to build? Are we just trying to go for like views from random people or are we trying to also do that while bringing in, uh, building somewhat of a community? And how do you build a community? In my opinion, you kind of just, you share things about yourself that people can get used to so that they, they feel like they understand things about you that they would only find out from conversation. I think that that's what obviously this is really good for because you get to kind of see a whole, really you just see who I am. But in a TikTok video where it's like, for me, this is about, it, it's about retention so the video does well. How do I mingle in the bits about me? That's what it is. I want to, I want, make viral content how do I add in bits about me? I've been splashing them into other bits of the video, but those don't really seem to have been doing much, I don't think. From, from my perspective, I don't see what those are doing. But I, because, <laughs> and I think that because people are watching the video because of the spectacle of the thing that I'm doing as opposed to all of us doing the thing. And I think making the hook more about me and my experience doing a thing, I think changes the whole mindset of someone watching the video. I mean, I guess we could always 
we can always switch up the hook between I and U. No, let's... I think there are times where you will get, where using you will get more views. But that's not the goal, is it? The goal is to have someone watch because they're interested in seeing how the person does the thing. Yeah. I don't think so if I look at this I'm, I'm thinking about creating a checklist of when I create a hook, does it have this, 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 and this in it? You know what's flipping nuts? It's so crazy when you think about it this way. I spend so little time thinking about the hook, and that's the most important part of the whole video. The rest of the video does not matter if the hook doesn't get someone. That's, that's so stupid, isn't it? So stupid. I think I'm going to work, I, I don't know how, but I'm just going to work with ChatGPT to help build on this and like build out some kind of checklist so that I can pump in the video idea and some specific things that happen or about me and then it can build out the hook based on some of these things. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yes, I'll do that. And I don't know what I'm typing. That part's kind of boring. So I'll, I'll give you the rundown. Jim Halper asking what a rundown is. <laughs> we just watched that the other day. So uh, I'll be right back. Okie dokie. So I worked a little bit on creating a, a GPT, which is like a We'll call it like a chat GPT bot almost. Not really a bot. You condition it so that anyone can use it. So it's like you've, you've trained it, basically. Um, also, I turned the heater off and I've been sat in the same position. I just got up. I didn't realize how cold it was in here. It is freezing. <sighs> okay. So then I... A couple of things. Let me, I can't bother to write it down there. Uh, okay, so we have the script. And then the other thing was the gum video, the editing, and the thought-provoking question, which I think is good. Okay, all right. So the script, the sauna tent video, uh, I thought that series would do really well, and I think what failed was the hook at the beginning and the lack of like care for the person going into a sauna, because a sauna isn't that extreme. So I came up with this as an intro. And I'm, I really think, I'm going to sleep on it tonight, and I think I'll just start redoing that series over the next few days. Got five uh, videos, and let's just try this out. I think we should do that because that that could do well. I think that's a sorry. Here it is. <laughs> that's a pasty white British guy spending five days in a sauna tent because I need the warm sun and I can't afford a vacation. The changing of tenses there, I felt like was quite good, but a couple of things that I've tried to do in creating that one. That's a pasty white British guy, so I've made it personal about me. Spending five days, so I set the duration in a sauna tent. I think people are like, what's a sauna tent? Because I need the warm sun, but I can't afford a vacation. That's kind of the reason why I'm doing it, because I want to get warm. Um, yeah. So then I have the next line which this is the, just the next part I have. You'll notice this is a lot more seemingly, I don't know, conversational or more jokey as I'm setting up the tent. I don't know about the rest of you Kansans, but my basement is freezing, so I hopped inside as soon as I could. Then uh, the heat hit me almost as hard as my wife, and I felt like I was on a beach in the south of France. 
at least for a second, until I remembered in 20 minutes I'd have to leave the warmth and into the freezer of a basement. Um, I w that's, in my opinion, adding in that second loop that, okay, he's gone in and he's enjoyed that it's hot, but we also now know that his basement is, again, it, the two parts in there, but we know that his basement is freezing and I kind of want to see his reaction when he gets out. Um, I'm going to add a thought, make this more about the reaction of getting out. Not sure. I, I really like that. I think that's, that sets things up a much, I think it sets things up much better and incorporates, I'll do, maybe I'll do like a couple of different versions of it. Maybe that's something I can just do in bed later on my phone. Yes. Next up, I just tried this video on my second account. If you don't, if you don't follow that, it's in the, it's down below. Interestingly, um, so I did, how long does gum flavor last? I thought this could be a series. I've seen this kid that has like five liters of water and uses like chopsticks or toothpicks or something to drink it and just does a straight video of him doing it. He's done it, doing it for like 10 plus hours. It's like, how can I tweak that and do it another way? So I just filmed myself while I worked on the GPT. I just filmed myself chewing the gum. Um, and then kind of made just like a just over one minute long video and just added like small comments in and just sped up the majority of the thing. But that's a super easy, that's one of those things that you can see potentially going like crazy viral. And it's easy to make. So what my goal is, one, to generate some revenue from the creativity program, and two, drive more viewers to that account because on that account I post more clips from here. Which then brings me on to uh, Dustin, you may see him in the comments here, uh, has been doing some editing, uh, some like just making some day in the life videos. So we're doing two versions at the moment. I'm filming day in the life stuff behind the scenes as I mentioned and in the morning, so I've changed up my process here, in the morning I upload all the footage and then he has that to work on in the day to do, I mean, him and I are working through it, but as much creative freedom as possible to work on those edits. It's like for him, he wants to be able to practice with footage. I've got all the footage and he picked up on uh, the, the number of times I've said, I'd, I'd love if you know you guys wanted to make some edits, let's do it. So in the morning we do a audio version with like a, a music edit and then in the evening or like afternoon evening it will be a longer set of clips up to about a minute and then just a voiceover from that day very high level voiceover um so yes they've been doing i think that we've only posted three so far i've got another one to post this evening 956 views on one of those which is quite good so we like that and then the question which was if you could solve one global problem what would it be and you're thinking like hunger starvation <laughs> uh homelessness those ones i have chosen something different i think much 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 more um what's the word i'm looking for we need to solve this one much more than any of the others, of course. Slow walking people, we cannot have that. Can't have slow walking people out there. Uh, what's my solution to that? I think we all put them in a basement and the rest of us carry on with our lives. I think that's good. Next one <laughs> is, oh, if you had the power to change, okay, it, let me just like read it properly, I guess. If you had the power to change one thing in this world, what would it be and why? Nice. Also, I'm changing up my process a little at the end of the day. I'm gonna copy all my footage over onto here, which I normally do, but I'm also going to then exp add it all into the timeline and export the like a low quality version 
upload that to YouTube as unlisted. And then that way it has finished uploading and processed ready for the morning because I need to get the transcript from that video up on YouTube. Um, and at the moment I've been having to run the upload and then wait or do some other things in the morning. And I normally have to wait until I come back from the gym to do it, but I'd like to get it done before I go to the gym. I'm really actually happy with how today went. I really like this. I like the breakdown. So we'll give it a go, see how things work out. Okay. Good night.